I don't get to say this very often, but happy Thursday, Pink Fresh Studio friends. Today is our July release day, and I'm really excited to showcase all of the new products that are now available in our online shop. So how about we get right to it? First, we are going to take a look at the three-piece Thanks for Being There product suite, and then the Fancy Floral Ephemera. Now, if you were a part of our most recent scrapbooking virtual event, Create and Connect Scrapbooking, then you will have seen these products already, but they're also perfect for card making. And so we wanted to make sure that we went ahead and got them released relatively soon after the event so that all paper crafters can take part in using these lovely products. Now, there is a four by six clear stamp set that includes this really lovely um, floral cluster that has different types of flowers on it. And there are also some really fantastic sentiments. Now, when you switch over to the die set, of course, there is a die to cut out the flowers. And then you will see that there are three dies for cutting out some of the sentiments. That includes the grateful for you, this thanks for being there, and then the word smile. We know that you guys have been loving the dies for cutting out our sentiments, so we are continuing to include them in our die sets when it makes sense. And then finally, there is the four piece layering stencil set that helps you ink blend in the color into the floral images. And this is what it looks like when all is said and done. Now, of course, the image is outlined, so you can also watercolor, color in with markers, colored pencils, the sky is truly the limit. Now, we also are introducing the Fancy Floral Ephemera pack. Now, this does not, it's not necessarily a matching item to these, but you'll notice that the style of the florals is the same. You get 16 pieces in here, and there, there are some that are relatively large. Now, these are super fun and easy, and they make, if you're in a rush, but you wanna create a beautiful card, these are perfect because the florals are already printed and done for you and you can just use them um, quickly when you're creating a card. Now here is a mini slimline card that I have created using the thing, uh, thanks for being their product suite. Now you'll notice I cut my floral in half so that I could get more use out of it and I uh, did some iridescent heat embossing for my outline. So it made it nice and subtle, but also made it like a really lovely glittery touch. Now you're gonna take a look and see some more examples using this lovely product suite from our team and welcome guests. Up next is the All Kinds of Wonderful Divine. This is a three-piece product suite. It includes a four by six clear stamp set. Now in the stamp set, you'll notice the floral stems are all included on one stamp. This makes it super easy to align with that one piece die and then the coordinating layering stencils. Now there are just two sentiments on this set, but they're bigger, they're bolder, they're uh, extremely heartfelt. And you'll notice on the die set that we have also included dies to cut out those sentiments. Now this is a four piece stencil set. When all is said and done, your images are um, colored in to look like this. And of course you can use any colors. Now something to mention, I didn't mention it for the first set I showcased. Now that set, you can use the stencils alone. For the all kinds of wonderful product suite, this one right here that I'm showing you, the stencils alone would look a little incomplete without the stamped or heat embossed stems. So our suggestion is to use them together with this product suite. Now here's a card that I created using this product suite. I created this card live on the Pink Rose Studio YouTube channel this past Tuesday. So if you want to see it come together in real life, we would love for you to check that out. Next, let's take a look at some really fun standalone dies we are coming out with. Now, this release is not fall themed by any means, but there are some elements in it that are really perfect for fall crafting. 
that this standalone die is called Fall Leaf. It's a really intricate and lovely, and it is beautiful in fall colors, but it really can be used all year round in all different colors. It's really great for accenting and tucking into your backgrounds. Now this set is super fun. This is called our Foliage Shaker. It's a four piece die. You've got these really fun and modern leaf uh, shapes. And then you get the, um, the full, um, the full shape, but you get the detail shape and you can really mix and match these and use them in lots of different ways. You can use just the full cuts themselves. You can use the detail layers by themselves. You can combine them and layer them together, or you can also turn them into shaker elements. So this one four piece die set has so many capabilities. And I just wanted to show you a card that I created with it. So you'll notice I added some rainbow stripes onto the whole die, and then did a nice outline in some ivory colored glitter cardstock on that one. Now, finally, we have our secret garden die. This is a larger background. It covers the entire surface of an A2 sized card base. Um, this was a collaboration designed by Paige Taylor Evans, and we're so excited to have another product from her in our product line. And it's just a really lovely and whimsical scene with flowers and posies and greenery. There's so many ways that you can use that. For my card today, I just ink blended a panel in a rainbow gradient and then die cut it using the die and then added some more pieces of that same die cut from ivory glitter, just picking out. So our final three items in our July release include this dotted chevron cover plate die, we know that you guys love our cover plates and we're excited to introduce our latest design. Now this does not have a cutting line like most of our other ones previously released. Uh, it is sized currently at A2, which is four and a quarter by five and a half. But because we don't put that cutting line, you can use other sizes of cards. Now I shared a lot of cards previously already using this design. Now this die set is our shaker tag book. If you were a part of our very first Scrapbooking Create and Connect event last year, this was in your event kit, but we are now releasing it for all. This is a great tag die set. You've got the three different tags and then a shaker window that works really perfectly inside of that larger tag. I think it could be used for other items as well. But that was its intended design. There are the two star accents, the two har accents, and then the whole reinforcer as well, which can be used on all three. Now, finally, we have a new layering stencil background set. This is called Overlapping Triangles. It's a four piece set. And when you layer them all together, you get this really retro modern design. And let me take a, let's take a look. I created this card with uh, that in my background. You'll notice that I ink blended three of the stencils. And then the final stencil, I actually blended in embossing ink covered in some iridescent glitter embossing powder and heat set to just give it some nice added shimmer, shine, and texture. Now I finished off with a fun shaker tag. Let's shake it here. I think they're getting a little stuck on the foam. Anyway, I created a shaker tag using that shaker tag book die. You'll notice I created the little shaker window and I filled it with glitter drops. And then I accent accented, pardon me, with two of those leaf dies that you saw in the last section. Now that is our entire July release. And you'll definitely want to take a closer look at all of these inspiring projects that you got to take a peek at in this video. You'll see those along our blog hop today and probably some along our Instagram hop tomorrow. We'll be sure to link our blog hop post in the video description below. Now, speaking of prizes, we have a grand prize giveaway right here on our video. Uh, you can win the entire July release. All you got to do is let us know in the comments below what your favorites are. And keep in mind, I didn't say you had to pick just one. Well, we hope you love our July release as much as we do. And we can't wait to see what you create with it.